In this video, I'll take a look at creating building form based on solar radiation analysis with inside Revit and Vasari. We will take a look at the modeling tools and how we can efficiently use design options and the solar radiation analysis tool to optimize our building to make a good balance in the end result. I have now opened the conceptual environment with Inside Vasari. And what I'm going to take a look at in this video is how we can use the tools with Inside Vasari to quickly update our form and do different kinds of solar radiation studies. Looking at the incident radiation, it's really made up by the diffuse, direct and reflected radiation. And what we're looking for on this new envelopment here it's really creating a good balance where we create an equal amount of radiation on each, each surfaces. And then in the following process are able to better control the light level and the distribution of heat to the interior spaces here. So what I've done is just to do one example here and then I want to go into design options and to not mess this example up here, just say finish editing. And then I'm just duplicating this new envelopment a couple of times like that and I can rename them if I want to. So this means that let's say I'm going into copy of new envelopment and I'm going in and I'm modifying the project here and I can do my solar radiation analysis. I will go that through that in a minute. And then I'm able to go back to my kind of primary example or setup. So in that way, design option is very efficient when you want to look at different iterations of your design, creating the equal amount of radiation on your surfaces. In some cases, you might have specific design goals like the courtyards here and here, where you want to look at how much radiation will hit this surface here to create the best outdoor environment and in the same time if you're looking at PV p potential at the roofs you will look at have as much solar radiation on the roofs at, as possible and again you can of course on a later stage use the solar radiation analysis for placing windows and openings on the facades more efficiently. So let's go to the main model and kind of do uh, our first simulation on this here. So let's go to analysis and go to the Ecotech solar radiation tool. And I think it's very important when you compare different things that you compare the same things. So I'm using one year solar study. I have the accuracy of 20 with a pretty low resolution to have quick iterations on my design. And I'm looking at the average value and watts, hours per square meter. And then for the optimizing form, I'm really just looking at the default solar radiation style, but I can also apply my own styles with numbers or the Ecotech style if I want to. So let's just go in and mark out the faces that we want to simulate like this, grab the whole thing here, and then deselect these surfaces here. The reason why I want to have selected all the surfaces is that if I export the analysis to a CSV file and I want to compare the amount of radiation hitting the different designs and compare them quantitative, then it's really important that I have the same faces selected to do this efficiently. So let's just hit the arrow again and now the simulation is running and as you'll see here at the end result we actually made a pretty good and equal distribution which makes it easier to control the interior spaces or the, the comfort with inside the spaces and as well creating a good amount of daylighting throughout the year for the different rooms with inside the model. So then I can go on and I can go to let's say my next design proposal here and there's different ways you can just if it's instance parameters you can do just drag your design and you can of course control it in the same time with inside uh, your schedule to look at the quantities and stuff like that. But for now if you have put on a parameter, a height parameter with inside the mass you can go and you can use this add-in the parameter slider to just quickly update your form like this. So this is really just a factor of how high it is. Okay so Let's mark this out and see what happened to this new envelopment here, like that. And we mark it out again. Let's see that, okay. And this is really much faster with inside Vasari than you can do it with inside Ecocheck. But one problem here is that it's you can't lock the scale, so you won't know what the actual color really means. Of 
course you can look at the legend but really just here you'll see that now you don't have too much light coming down to the courtyard and, and stuff like that. So really I think if we go back to the first example in the main model this was really what we were looking for in this project.